as you saw in the in the trailer, she's um, she's asking for asylum um, from the Reich, which is obviously a, a, a desperate measure. She's wanted by the Kempe Tai, she's wanted by the resistance. She has nowhere to go, um, and she makes that choice, which is obviously a life changing decision, and then thus has to become a chameleon to survive that experience. Um, it's not fun. <laughs> it's hard. Um, Joe, I mean, at the end of season one, well, all of season one, Joe was kind of on this, this mission, and he was trying to accomplish this mission, and so he was very physical. I mean, he was doing a lot of action throughout season uh, one, and we left him at the very end, um, and we pick up with him in season two. Everything's kind of settled, so all that adrenaline is there, and it's, uh, it's, now, it's now transferred, and the mind is kicked in, so now he's on this kind of psychological uh, journey through season two, and really in opposition of the Reich now. You know, he comes home as a hero, he doesn't feel like a hero, and then you saw in the trailer, he says, this isn't the man I wanna be. Um, and he believes that. And so, uh, but then he's thrust into a whole new world. He gets to meet his father uh, for the first time, and his father is this very powerful man living in Berlin in the Reich, um, based upon Albert Speer, if you know, um, the architect of the Reich. And so, yeah, and he's, uh, he has to deal with um, what it means to, to, to A, be the son of this man and, 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 and also to deal with everything that he's done and, and how the ideology is kind of influencing his life and what he truly believes in, and he's, he's really trying to find his way. Uh, Children gets uh, drawn into a world at the beginning of the season with Frank. Frank, where they've... Uh, at the end of last season, he's just sold a counterfeit piece to the Japanese couple, Paul and Betty, right. and, which is a really risky thing to have done. <clears throat> and right at the beginning of this second season, uh, Frank comes into Children's Shop, and I don't want to ruin it for him, but it's, I don't know how much to say, but he draws him into a situation where they have to uh, quickly make money and fight for their lives. and. Um, uh, puts children in a, he's not a man of action, unlike Joe, you know. <laughs> Children's a lot more anxiety prone than Joe Blake, I think. And uh, so he's uh, in a lot of unfamiliar situations very quickly. And Joel, what would you say? Uh, at the end of uh, season one, there's this whole issue of the assassination of the crown prince, that, that attempt and trying to, to pin it on somebody because uh, Keto's covering up who really did it. So he has to sort of tie that up. And then this event happens at the beginning of season one where he begins to question why the Japanese have been ignoring the man in the high castle and starts to think uh, that maybe the films are a lot more important than the Japanese were led to believe. So how do, how do you get to the man in the high castle? How do you figure out what the films are about? And how does maybe Juliana Crane factor into all that? So all of that sort of uh, starts pulling his attention. Yeah.